So if we look at Jugla, right? Because again, I don't I don't know why would Barcelona come up with this type of decision. At least keep him for another season. Maybe he might come out with a lot of results, but they didn't they didn't even give him the chance. And he was even scoring and doing okay when Xavi really needed him a few months ago. Um so let's go here. This is Fer yeah, Ferran Jugla. Let's go to the stats. And then we're going to be looking at yeah. Okay. So look, look, right. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And the fact that they said that, oh, we, we don't need this player. Let's go into this season. Let's go into just, uh, let me Super Cup. okay, whatever. Um, so you see how like he right here says Barcelona B, Barcelona B. These are the Barcelona B matches. Look at how many goals he has scored ever since he got dropped back into Barcelona B. Right. So let's go all the way to after he got dropped out. So let's go here. Right. He played. He was he was in the squad against Bilbao, where they have lost three two back on January 20th. Uh, three days later, we played against Alaves. We won one zero. He was also in the squad. And then from there, he went back to Barcelona B. And ever since he went back to Barcelona B, right, right here, starting here, you guys see the, the thing. Costa Brava two two against Barcelona B. He scored two goals in one game. The next other, and then moving on towards the next other game, one goal, one goal, one goal. One goal, one goal here, one goal there, one goal. He was scoring in every game, and then he went on a two-streak, two-goal streak run. Two goals here, two goals here, one goal here, and then one goal here. So it, it clearly looked like Jugla was just too good for that type of division. Like, why wouldn't they think, okay, let's bring him into the first division and, and let's see how we can upgrade his his um, his um level? Because you better bet that he probably would have brought in all of those goals into uh, La Liga and even as a third choice it probably would have been great to have him as a third choice and so I don't get why they came up with this whole idea of like yeah let's just uh, let's take him out we don't need him because Jugla himself said Barcelona don't need me right the fact that Jugla had to say that you know it's real Bar Jugla literally said Barcelona don't want me and I'm most likely going to be sold I hope that maybe in about a couple of days and a couple of hours, they say, no, 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 actually, uh, screw that. Screw it. Screw that idea. What Jugla said. Um, yeah, that was the idea in the first place. We actually want to keep him. I hope that we end up going in that way because it just doesn't seem right to me. Right. So let's see how many goals he scored ever since he was dropped back into Barcelona B. Right. So let me see if I could uh, go here. OK, cool. So you guys are looking at the screen. OK, I just want to make sure. All right. cool. So now we go here and we go here. Right. So, okay. So going back here. So ever since he was dropped back, right, to Barcelona B, he scored a total of one. Okay. So we're here. Okay. Here. Two goals. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goals. 15 goals. That's not bad for a striker. Right. And he played. He scored 15 goals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, <laughs> 16 games with Barcelona B, and he scored 15 goals. That's like a 0 0.9, 0 0.9 goals per 90. That's really good. I don't get why they would drop him, right? And so, uh, of course, right, he scored goals with uh, Barcelona, the first team against Linares. They have won in that game. Uh, he scored from this position here. Yeah, right there. I wish I could. I want to click on the video, but I don't want to get, like, flagged. <laughs> I, like, I, they're going to take down my video if I, if I play this video. Screw it. So I want to see what. Let me see if I can change it. So we can see here, Alves. Uh, there we go. Who is that? Wait, who is that? Was that Jugla? Yeah. So yeah, Jugla scored from the left wing, which is crazy, right? So not only is he a great number nine, but he's a great left wing. Look at that. Look at that run. He goes down the left flank, almost like Neymar. Boom, golazo. Right? That's that's quality there. That's quality. He took it by himself. You don't see that from a lot of uh, strikers. So he scored a goal against Linares. Um, where, where was that goal? He, and he scored, which is crazy, right? Let me go back to that goal. Hurry up. Can you like hurry up? Okay, whatever. It's too slow. Oh, wait. 
He scored while Barcelona were tied 1-1 on the, on the 68th minute. So he gave Barcelona three points. Oh, wait, was this Copa del Rey? Yeah, he, he basically, we basically went into the next, next round because of him, right? So he scored in a very decisive moment. No reason for, for, for Xavi to say we don't need this player. Um, so now we do have here. Uh, okay, so this is very interesting, right? Because everything is very live right now. Let me see. Let me. You know what? Where's the center? Right. We have. You guys have to follow all of these Barcelona uh, Twitter pages. They're they're the first ones to like uh come out with the information. So look, Barcelona are on the verge of selling Jugla to club. Uh, Brugge, or Brugge, I don't know how to pronounce that. The club will make between 5 and 7 million euros on the forward, according to Relevo, right? So, and then we have people here saying he's better than Torres, but Torres fanboys will be salty just because he scored goals against third division teams, I guess, whatever. Laporte and Xavi doesn't, don't have sense. So, so you see, like, a lot of people here are, like, very, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how, how, how to describe it. Like, in in... In a very salty mood because even I am in a, like this leaves a very sour taste in my mouth because, you know, this is a brand new club. We have Jordi Cruyff. We have Mateo Alemán. Like these people should know exactly where the talent is. Jugla is talent, right? And I get it, right? Like I know that you guys are going to be saying, Kevin, you make no sense. Like we're going to be having Lewandowski for two or three years and a bombing for like another year. We don't need him. We need to plan for the now and for the future. Jugla could potentially be for the now if they were to actually keep him. And he is for sure going to be the future, right? To the future number nine for this Barcelona team, right? Uh, someone said rot, rotten management, rotten coach, and said that Xavi can't protect La Masia, his former school. Dugla is even, even, isn't even a La Masia product. Uh, yeah, which is true, right? And, and, and that's just kind of like, that kind of like strengthens the debate, right? The fact that Jugla wasn't even a Barcelona academy player and the fact that he performed this well in his first like season, <laughs> the fact that he performed this well without even having need like needing time to gel with his Barcelona system, it's, it's, it should show you that this player here was committed. So it's it's very confusing, very, very confusing. And uh, like, okay, like Lewandowski, Abameng, but who else? Right, I don't know who else is going to play in that striker position. Is, could it, could this potentially mean that Xavi is saying, you know, I don't need Jugla because our third option, if Lewandowski is injured, if Aubameyang is injured, we, why not put Ansu Fati as a number nine? Why not? That could be the the third option. Like, yes, he might say, okay, I'm I'm gonna put Ansu Fati on the left wing, but our third option could be Ansu Fati as a striker, right? So that maybe Xavi is looking at this in this way. So. Uh, it's just, uh, see, so like every like Barcelona page, Barcelona are close to, are close to closing a deal with, uh, yeah, Club Brugge for Ferran Jugla. The club is expected to get five to seven million euros. And even with him scoring so many goals, literally 15 goals in 16 games, right? 15 goals in 16 games. You want to sell them for five to seven million euros. Why not 12? Why not 15 million euros? This guy here has a point, right? And 50% of the next transfer fee, right? Because I, which is smart. I hope Aleman is thinking about that, right? If you're going to send Jugla to a team like this, we know that Jugla, right? And this is the Portuguese league, right? Club, yes. Club Brugge, yes. Portuguese league. I do expect Jugla to score about 15, 16, 18, 20 goals in that league. I hope that Barcelona put a 50% like, uh, transfer fee on it like whatever that next fee is going to be if jugla gets sold for around 25 30 million euros to let's say chelsea or let's say man city or let's say inter milan ac milan wherever it may be we better get 50 percent of that sell right barcelona better do that i don't need anything about like oh just a full sell like just let him go and whatever whatever this is going to be like another like kukurea moment remember kukurea Remember how that left back was not seen as like a good left back according to this Barcelona club? And they said, let's just sell him to uh, Hetafe. And then Hetafe sold him to, uh, where'd he go? 
some club in the Premier League, but I forgot what club he played for. But he's he's doing really good. And I already said that Barcelona needs to bring him back because he's a very intense left back and a very in, in, intense left wing back, right? We go here, right? And I'm going to show you guys just how well this guy has been playing. I spoke with Correa. Okay. Right here. See, right? We're going to go here. We're going to go down. And we're going to go to his honorable mentions. Literally, Kukurea is in was considered to be in seventh place in terms of percentage of dribbles tackled, right? Seventh place in the Premier League in this season. Fifth place in success in successful pressure percentages. Fifth place out of the whole Premier League. You and you and me know how how intense the Premier League is. Ninth place in progressive passes. This does not tell you that this is a perfect Barcelona left back because of the way that he pressures, because of how many progressive passes he does make. Look at how many touches he he has uh, contributed in. Ninth place. Second place in... Okay, that doesn't even matter. <laughs> Throw-ins <laughs> taken. That doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, this guy is a great left back and Barcelona let him go. So, like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, uh, does this... Does this club need a better scouting department or or what right so let me go back to my full face brighton right yeah someone said brighton yeah that's that's where he plays at right now and he's been doing phenomenal he was considered as brighton's best player of the season or like best player of the month that's great that's awesome right it's not the best club in the world or in the premier league but that's great right why not bring him back and the same thing is going to happen with jugla the same thing. The same thing is going to happen with Jugla, based off what I've been seeing here. Yeah, so Ferran Jugla literally said, Barcelona don't want me anymore. I don't know, man. Like, it's just, it's crazy. 